All right, let's go into the chat GPT program and throw some more questions at it. Some more philosophical or life questions, things like that, and see what it says. So let's ask it, what is the meaning of life? And so there it goes, answering our question. That's pretty interesting. How about this? How to find the meaning of life. So that's pretty interesting. What about how to achieve the meaning of life? So there you can see, as I mentioned earlier, the AI knows that I've already asked about it. And let's see, is it giving a different answer or is it the same one? We'll have to wait and see here. Does it look? Um, it looks, well, it looks a little different actually. So that's interesting. Well, how about this? What does it think about getting rich quickly? How to get rich quickly? So it's laying out some steps here. Investing, starting a business, pursuing a high paying job, building a strong network of contacts and connections, saving and managing your money wisely. Of course, there's no guarantees, it explains, when it comes to building wealth and it may take time, hard work and persistence to achieve financial success. I don't know, that all sounds pretty good to me. What about if we ask it, how can I become a software programmer? So gain a strong understanding of computer science and programming principles. Yeah, that makes sense. College degree in computer science or field related field self-study of course with all of our resources available today with youtube and udemy and plural site and so many other websites you can learn endless things about programming learn one or more programming languages c java python and javascript i think those are all really good and popular choices Gain practical experience by working on real-world programming projects. Well, yeah, first you have to learn how to write code, but that's kind of an obvious answer. Stay up to date with the latest technology trends and developments in the field. Well, I guess that's why we're looking at ChatGPT. It's pretty new technology, the latest model of it. And it goes on to say, becoming a successful software programmer requires strong problem solving skills, creativity, the ability to work in a team environment, building a strong portfolio of work and networking with other professionals in the field can help, help you in advancing your career. So I think that all makes sense too. Now let's see what it thinks about this. What is the most popular programming language. All right, what's it telling us here? The most popular language as of December 2022 is Python. Other popular languages include Java, C, C++, and C Sharp. So that sounds, that sounds pretty good. I think it's pretty accurate. 
I mean Java, C, C++, C Sharp, they do share a lot of similarities and you can do an awful lot with them. Let's see what it thinks is the best operating system. Um, a matter of personal preference. Goes on to say Microsoft Windows is widely used. Apple Mac OS. And Linux. <laughs> Well, those are pretty much the main three, so not sure how good that answer is. It seems kind of generic. Was wondering if it would tell me more specifically what is the best operating system. Well, how about this? What is the most popular operating system? Let's see if it answers that any differently. It says it can depend on factors such as type of device, geographical location, and the specific needs of the user. According to recent statistics, the most popular operating system is Microsoft Windows, which is used on a majority of personal computers worldwide. Another is the Apple or Apple's Mac OS and Google's Android. So again, it's kind of the three main operating systems we have available to us. It doesn't really say which one is more popular. I would think that maybe it could go look at some statistics and give us some specific data. So let's ask it, can you provide statistics, statistics on what is the most popular operating system and let's see um, it's telling us it cannot provide statistics or information on current trends or developments as my training data only goes up to 2021 and I do not have ability to browse the web I am a large language model trained by OpenAI and my purpose is to assist users with generating human like text based on the inputs provided to me i am not able to access or provide current information or statistics on any topic okay so that's interesting well those were i think some interesting questions to ask it and some interesting answers and i just thank you for taking the time to watch the video and i plan to ask it some more questions in other future videos and see what kinds of things we can learn. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.